welcome to this edition of the next down where we send the most anticipated games of the nfl 2022 season i've got a solid one for you today i'm agent r and thanks for joining me and bringing you the on-demand commentary for what's about to go down in baltimore maryland we've got the dolphins going up against the ravens and both teams are looking for that 2-0 start and I'm telling you, for what we saw from both, very impressive. Now, they're coming a little banged up, but you know, this is the NFL that should stop anyone from getting that dub. Lamar Jackson was using his arm to get the job done last week. And I'm telling you what, more and more each year, the Dolphins are more of a complete package. And they just put on a clinic versus the Patriots last week. <laughs> the defense, I mean, it was like a role reversal, right? So we're going to see if they can contain Lamar Jackson in this offense. And honestly, we're going to see if Baltimore has what it takes to slow down what seems to be a pretty impressive and electrifying Miami offense. So here we go. It's kickoff time. Let's see who wants it more. 2-0. Here we are on the next down. Now, in this what we simulated, uh, Carter and uh, Hunter Long are out for the Dolphins. Uh, James Prosh, is it Prosh? Prosh? Uh, and uh, Stanley are out. Uh, so we did some switching on the O-line to compensate for that loss of the tackle. So it'll be interesting if they hold up uh, for Lamar, but you know, he's got legs, so. He wants the protection, of course, so he can sit in the pocket and do his thing. But if, if he can't, then we all know that what he's capable of. Tyreek Hill is definitely an addition that's going to help Tua look even better. Oh, he could have him offside. All right, we got the sweep. Oh, what a move. And to start this off, we go to whom? None other than Hill picking up the first down. You see, I was just going into that. But they did all kind of uh they did all kinds of damage to the Patriots defense last week. Here we are at about 36. Right over. Look at that fight! And two of two on the day already. That's Giuseppe. Okay, they're spreading the ball out already. I love these. I, I've been watching the, the FC like hard for years because of just enjoying the Patriots. So I, I love these. Oh, nice catch. I love these CBS throwdowns for the AFC. Gasicki again, man. It's just. This might be a long day. Uh oh, we got pressure. All right. They're just going to crowd the line. Still picked up about, what, six, seven, eight on the play. This, this is. They're coming out strong. This is pretty impressive. We're gonna look. We're gonna have to make an adjustment here. Handing it off again. Nice stop. Calais Campbell on the on the stop there. I was waiting for this this line to do something here. Slow this down a bit. Third and inches. I just want them. I just, I just want him to just take advantage of that. Yeah, that's that's a pickup. <laughs> Gaskin on the play. Let's get a look at that play again. Look at this. 
this A gap hole that opened up and was able to just do a little cut back and pick up that first down. Solid play. If you're going to give him that, then he's going to take that all day. And that's it's pretty impressive. Like I said, they did some things on that side of the ball to make sure that everything was matching up for this week two roster. Dropping back right over the middle again. 4-4 four, four so far. <laughs> Got a little sweep action. Two of those going right up the middle and one over to the edge there. Second and one here at the 28. Fakes it. So we got a play action up the middle again. Oh, he put on the burners. Hey, it's a touchdown. He rolled him over. Pierce injured on the play. Of course, we'll take a look at this to review it since they did call it a scoring touchdown. <laughs> what is this look? It's like, come on, man. Why you roll them over? I mean, look, that's how it rolls, right? That was that was a touchdown. And they confirm it. What a big play in Miami coming out, striking early, seeming unstoppable. And that extra point is good. Eight plays, 76 yards, taking about half of that to get that into the end zone. What an impressive throw and performance. What was that, five for five from... Tua on that. So Baltimore has got his work cut out for it. It did not look like the quintessential Ravens D that we have come to, you know, expect. But this Miami offense is, is something different as well. Now, keep in mind what you're looking for from Miami is consistency. They've been able to put up points, of course, with, you know, players at quarterback position for years. It's just that they haven't been able to do it consistently. So and here we go to see former MVP of the league, Lamar Jackson, looking a little, a little more buff this year coming in, ready to show off that arm prowess and just how much he's grown yet again. Fakes the handoff, takes it right up the middle. Oh, he's still on his feet. <laughs> 23 yards on the play. And see, that's what I was talking about. It, I mean, if he's there, he's just going to take it. Wasn't comfortable with what he saw with that spin. <laughs> it took multiples. And of course, with our guy missing the, the helmet there. So on this mod, there are certain helmets that are new in Madden 23. And if it's it's not there for this Madden 22, then he's going to have the face mask. Nice cut back. There is a flag on the play. Picks up another first down. A big play. He can cut back in. Oh, and they call it on the offense. Legal block in the back. Repeating the first down, they're gonna call it first and seven. Drops back. And did he get that? Look at the footwork. Solid play. It's like a pitch and catch. Gets his feet down. Look at this throw from Jackson. Right out to the edge. And look at the Andrews leaning back. Great body work and control. Andrew, 
Flag down. He's going to hold on to it. And he calls it offside. First and five here with a minute 43 left in the first quarter. And Baltimore is looking like they are ready to respond themselves. All right, we have a man in motion. Gonna do a sweep. And nothing. The Dolphins were ready for that play. An illegal block in the back on the offense. So we're a little antsy here on this side of the ball. It's just a back and forth right now, this yo-yo effect. Let's see that they can just settle down here. Another run play, a nice pickup. Six yards on the play, so we're gonna close that, make it a manageable second and nine. Does look like they're in a run formation, but let's see what they, they pull out here. Oh, nice footwork. This time it's Drake picking up five. So they have turned this first and 15 into a third and three. So now the playbook is wide open. Don't be surprised if they pull out a play action in here just because they've opened this up. He's just going to drop back. Oh, he got away with one on that one. That could have been easily picked. His man was not able to run that route effectively. So Miami doing a great job to slow down this Ravens offense. And now the best kicker in the NFL hands down will now come out for this three point attempt and the boot is off and I'm not surprised it's good like clockwork but it closes the gap on this score it's Miami 7 and Baltimore 3 with 25 left in the in the quarter And here they go. This won't be returnable. They'll go ahead and take a knee so they can get this up here at the 25. And there's the newest addition, Hill, making a big impact in this game already. And Miami's offense will be coming out for his second drive of the day. Let's see if Baltimore has made any adjustments that would be necessary to slow, slow this team down. They looked quite impressive. All right, they're handing it off. A little pick up there, Mostert, of course, on that drive. Houston on the tackle. And it looks like this will just run down to the end of the quarter. All right, there you have it. Miami winning out that quarter. We're going to move right over into the second. Or it looks like they're going to switch sides and keep that momentum going.
I like the play calling right here. They're keeping uh, the Ravens D very honest. We got a single, single back play here. In motion. All right, he cut to the outside and they take him down. Uh oh, the queen injured on the play. I'm gonna have to make another adjustment. Yeah, you can see the frustration there. Yeah, there are a couple of questionables uh, that we left in. You know, Humphrey, uh, Peters, then you had uh, Stevens, it was Jones. So we, I think we left them in just because questionables are hard. So you don't want to just rule them out when you're doing a sim, so. All right, the pump fake right over the middle. Oh, that tackle looked kind of dangerous, but Tua got it out there and Waddle on the reception, moving the chains. They found a way. It looked like they were slowing down a bit. Look at that move. Comes right off. I don't know why the break off happened on Waddle on that play, but Tua found them easy. Right, gotta hand it off again. He's got the edge. Still trying to fight through it. Brought down. It's so interesting. There's a, a lot of illegal block in the back calls happening on offense right now. <laughs> it's highly unusual from the past couple of sims we've done. But the Ravens will take it. First and 15 coming up here at the, what's this, like the 33. Hands it off again. Puts his shoulders down, goes nowhere. He's only got 18 out of those five so far. That's what I like to see from the Ravens. All right, you know, the running plays so far, you know, they kick it, kick it out. They try to get something, but up the middle, they're like, nah, try that again. All right, handing it off again. They're going to try it and swarmed them. They were ready for it. So just what we talked about, they... They try to go up the middle, they try to go to the right side, and they got a flag. They try to kick it over off to the, the left, and they just, they crashed. All right, big third down coming up in this game so far, third and 11. Going to drop back, releases, and was ready. So was able to get it out to Hill, but was tackled immediately on the play. And a big stop. The Ravens definitely needed this. We could see a swing here. The release on that was good. It was a nice play. He just, like, look at that. Peters was just instantly on that play. And that's what you're going to want to see from them throughout the day if they want to try to contain what Miami did on that first drive. All right. Punts it off. Oh, oh! It took a bounce, and we have a touchback. That's a good punt. All right, and here come the Ravens out now for the second drive, hoping to actually do something, march into the red zone, and get six on the board this time. But that was impressive from the Miami defense. I mean, the Dolphins were able to stop the pass. We're going to have to make some adjustments here for what was going on on those run plays. And there they go. Now, Jackson kept it, and he was ready. Roberts was ready for that play. That was impressive. They settled down. 
they were already expecting some kind of run, so you can like they're already in the backfield. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Look, he's getting up off the ground. These are already been just wasted. So pay attention to this side of the ball for the Ravens because they had to make some adjustments, especially on the left side. Man, they just keep it on the ground. Dobbins with 12 on the ground. Baker on the tackle. I expect them to go to the air on this one. They're, they're sticking with the run game. I think they want to do a little more than just hand this back off. It was AFC North Championships. Looking to add to that total this year. Nice. So he found his man. He was sitting right there in that, that coverage. It was like Duvernay on the reception. First down. And the Ravens moved the chains. This is exactly what they needed. Rather than just handing this as a three and out. Power just right there. A little soft coverage. He was able to take advantage of it, though, and just sit down on his route. Make it easy for Jackson to find him. Nice little pitch and catch. And now it's first and 10 here at the 36. What a nice block on that play. And he dove for it. Andrew's just making plays. Had a big one in the first quarter. And now look at this one. Showing his athleticism, the big guy. Look at this. It's in the bread basket. I mean, he's covered. It was, it was on a one hand. <laughs> they have got their work cut out for them. If he's going to do this the rest of the game, forget about it. We have three Dolphins in the vicinity on that play, and he, and he one handed it. The confidence for Jackson to just lay that out for him. And now it's opened up. He cut back. Big first down. Dobbins on the play. Oh, this is starting to this is starting to open up. But that that last play on that pass, they just they cleared that out. That was really impressive on the left on the left block there. They are coming around the edge. And they just laid it out. And it, it's, the Dolphins were not able to get anything on that play. All right. He drops back. Finds another man open. They're fighting. First down. And they just keep it moving. This time it's Bateman. The ball's being shared by everybody on this drive. Look at, look at the protection on this play. And a cutback. Love the awareness. First and goal. Makes an adjustment. Did it, oh, it bounced off. <laughs> I almost had that. That was crazy. It looked like it should have been an interception, and it actually stays up in the air long enough. For the catch to be made and now it's like it's i mean it's right on the edge second and goal i mean they should just be able to just walk this in instead it's a pitch and it's <laughs> nevertheless it's a touchdown anyway it's a weird little play that was called but the ravens are able to actually just get this one in so regardless they were able to take advantage Look at this. I mean, he's just able to just run us in with a powerhouse. And there you have it. Let's get another look at this. He just comes down right as he's going in. Who's that, Drake? Going for the extra point attempt. Tucker's back out and it's good so they responded to that 
now it's 10 to 7 in the Ravens' favor with a minute left to go here for the Dolphins. Baltimore and Baltimore. They did just that. A couple of crucial plays, explosive ones at that, and they were able to turn this around and, and take control for the first time in this matchup. Miami looking to start their third drive. We'll see what kind of energy they have after the Ravens just came out and responded like that. And they'll take a knee to start this drive. And I was really impressed. I mean, they were able to settle down and they delivered Lamar Jackson a beautiful pocket. I mean, he was hardly pressed at all. They came out and he kept it on the run play. And of course they broke through on that one. But after that, he was comfortable. And if he's gonna be able to make plays like that, I mean, in the NFL, no matter who the quarterback is, but with the arm that he has, like that's gonna be a tough day. Even that play that he had to Andrews is beautiful. And that's the kind of connections that they have. Right, Tua. I mean, look at this, eight and eight. I mean, he's taking what's there, especially underneath, and they're getting a lot of these crossing routes. And Gasicki over here with uh, 33 yards on the day. I mean, and this is, you know, no huddle. And this is the kind of league it is. I mean, you're gonna go for your bigger guys. You're gonna try to find the tight ends. And oh, he's gonna actually launch it. Oh. So he took his first big shot. He liked what he saw. He had a one-on-one -on -one matchup, but the Ravens were ready for it. Uh, and I'm not mad at that that call. That was a great play call, actually. And now it's just third and two. He took a shot on second down. It didn't work out, but I would like to see him try that again. Drops back. I looked a little off balance, but was able to bring it in. That was Hill on that reception. This receiving core is pretty nice for the Dolphins. I got to say, if you're in the AFC, you know, certain teams have been on the up. Uh, you can see this shift. I mean, the Jets are still down there, but you can see where the Patriots are falling back. But you have the impressive Bills, and now the, the, the Dolphins are looking to put themselves up there in the top two in the AFC East. Nobody there. That was a little dangerous on that pass. Ravens able to force second and 10. Let's just call it the 41. Oh! He had to reach back a little bit for that, but I mean, if... <laughs> Just a couple of inches over, and I, I'm quite sure that would have been picked off. I expect a little pressure on this one now. Third and 10 here with 23 left to go in the half. Oh, he just got that off. They pulled up just enough. I told you the heat was coming, we called it. And they got them to go ahead and punt this off and they ended up, they look, he had to toss it so they stopped the clock. So they'll have a little room here to, to make some kind of play out of this. Let's see just how big of a leg he has on this punt. And it rolled back for the touchback. What a foot. I mean, of course it was the bounce, but sheesh, I thought they were going to be able to pin him on that one. So Balt I expect Baltimore here to maybe do some a little something, but and then just get, get out of here and, and take the lead from the half. They're just going to hand it off. Dobbins right up on the left. 
That should go ahead and bring us to the end of the first half. And I told you it was gonna be a nice one here. We've got the Ravens 10 and the Dolphins seven. And both teams have come out here on the next down. As you can see the breakdown here, pretty even, but the Ravens getting a little more yardage and that in no small part from these expressive plays from Andrews. Just catching the ball one-handed, getting big plays here with the, the toe drag swag there, the toe tap on the, the edge. And I mean, there's nothing that the teams are just flat out doing completely wrong from what we've seen so far. It's just been the the offense just taking advantage of, you know, being able to sit down when they're in a the zone, being able to make some crossing routes. The defense have had their hands on the ball several times from both sides just not able to corral it in for a turnover so let's look out for a few more adjustments a little more aggression on on the defensive side of things and you know these pass plays if they can somehow get a little more pressure on a jackson i think that miami will be able to you know come back and take the lead again but if not, expect Baltimore to, to get back into the red zone on this drive, which will be their third on the day. Here he goes. He says he wants to have no more discussion on contract talks. It's football time, and he's going to prove exactly yet again what he is worth and I expect him to be looking once again to put up an MVP type season. They have all the tools necessary. You know, last year you could kind of just erase it. Uh, a lot, a lot of injuries on their side of the ball that lasted throughout the season. So, oh, he was almost, wow. His back did not look okay on that tackle. <laughs> well, they pick up the first down. That was Bateman on the play. That was a nice reception. I love the way Jackson's release is on that. Oh, he keeps it. Finds his man. Oh, and they just smashed him in the mouth. And he drops the ball. That was a great throw. He hit the target. He They just, they crashed him, man. I'm not even, I'm not blaming him for dropping that one. Second and 10. Looks like that's Andrews on the play. A small pickup. They've reached a hundred passing yards on the play. That was a nice breakaway there. He was actually covering his man, but he saw the ball was already released. So he just let him go. He is able to hold that to just a three yard reception. And that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to, especially with a, the uh, man of that size, you're going to have to go ahead and, and get in there earlier. Take him out before he can turn up field. All right, so it looks like he's going to roll out. Takes the slide. Is that a first down or it's, oh, just barely, just fourth and inches on the play. Looked like there was a, a bit of a little uh, QB spy action. He, he came over just enough to force him down before crossing that threshold. And look how he, he, he rolled out to his left and then just kind of just turned up the front. And just, oh, his knee is right there. I know, given the position, though, I expect them to go ahead and just punt this away. This game is way too close. Yeah. And this is a solid call. Go ahead and punt this away. Give your defense a chance to come out. Give you a better position. Nice punt there going out of bounds. It looked like it bounced inside first and what, like around the five or the six. So Miami coming out for their fourth drive on the day. They've got their work cut out for them. 
Baltimore has the entire field to work with to put pressure. So I do not expect them to allow this Miami offense to do any kind of work to get up the field. But let's see. They've had time to think about what they've done and make some adjustments. Starts back. Nice, nice catch. Just short of the first down. So they do move the chains a little bit. Here we go, second event in inches. They got a nice little breather. They came out strong in this game for their first drive. Cooled down a little bit. Let's see how they pick it back up. So they're staying in the air. Fights him off a little bit. Finds Hill again for 45 yards. I mean, every time he touches the ball, it's it's kind of first down territory. <laughs> it's, it's Tyreek Hill. What do we expect here? Nice athleticism. He put the ball on him in his stride. So then he was just able to just turn up, lower the shoulder a little bit and get some yardage after the contact. And now we're here first and 10. They hand it off. Ravens were ready for that. Gaskin on the run gets nowhere. Looks like Queen was able to come back in the game. It was like, maybe just a little stinger earlier. Glad to see he worked that out and is now back out here. Second and eight. Nice. I can't believe he was so open on that. That's the second time they've not been able to find Waddle. Look at that. Lower his shoulder a little bit. This this Miami's offense is pretty tough. They like making this contact, man. They, they don't just go down. They try to just get some extra yardage here. I wonder if the Patriots had trouble. Dropping back. Another pass. Oh, he dropped it. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> except him. A little, a little too much contact there. He had it and then just like kind of drove himself backwards. Um wasn't able to just take his momentum and just cut back up the field. Second and ten. But just keeping it in the air. There we go. Rolls off. He was anticipating a hit that did not happen. Regardless, as Waddle again on the reception brings a very manageable third and one. We'll have to see what kind of pressure the Ravens bring at all. They've only really gotten into the backfield once this game that I remember. But if there's a play that you want to blitz on just to make them a little uncomfortable, this is the one because he's been finding players all game long. He dove for it, and he got it. It was just out of reach, so he had to make a little athletic play on there. If he just would have softened that ever so slightly, he would have been able to cut up the field and get way more yardage out of it. But regardless, the result is the same, and they are on the move. Nice catch. Shrugs one off. And he's down on the play. Wilson on that reception. Wow, this Humphrey's first tackle. Coming up on 90 seconds left in the game. Well, excuse me, in the quarter. The handoff. Oh, and he braced the ankle, cuts to the outside. Monster with a big run on the play 
Can we get a replay? Yes, we can. Look at look at that. <laughs> we was ready for the stiff arm, but that was a smart move. Go ahead and, and just get it out of bounds. Stay upright. Don't take the unnecessary contact. You already got the first down. That way, if they want, they can just hand it off again. Drops back. Right up. And there we go. Hill on the reception just by himself. Miami with the response, their first drive of the half. And they came out looking much like the first half on that first drive and brings it right in. And look at Hill just taking it to the house. And they take back control of the game. All right, let's see what they do on this extra point. Miami's already up 13-10. And it's up and it's good. Miami 14 and Baltimore 10. Now that, it, that was a drive. That was a nice drive. They got, they distributed the ball well. Tua did not see any pressure really. And so just hit the targets that he needed to. And despite the fact that, you know, he overshot just a little bit on the play, they were able to just get it in there. And again, he's taking what's underneath and just allowing, trusting his offense to just make up the yardage, get the difference underway. And you know, when you have players like Waddle and you have players like Hill, and they're just keeping the defense honest all around. They're able to just take advantage and, and, and get those chunk plays. So here we are. Ravens now with their fourth possession coming out as well. Now we're just gonna see how they respond with a minute left in this third quarter. I mean, they, they look, they pinned them all the way back um, near their own goal line. And they drove the length of the field, eating up clock along the way. So I thought it was something that the Ravens were going to be able to take advantage of, but instead now they're now they're back down, needing to. Oh, and he keeps it. Oh, he fumbled. No, <laughs> no. Jackson didn't like what he saw, so he kept it. But then took a massive shot and drops the ball. And now the game, football is a game of momentum. And now the offense are coming back out with, I mean, perfect field position. And they can keep this momentum going. You hate to see it. First turnover on the day. He did not eat his Wheaties. Oh, right up the middle. 17 of 22 on the day. And Waddle for his fifth reception. And they moved the sticks again. What a statement win this would be if the Dolphins can pull this one out over the Ravens. Oh, the handoff. Woo! He had daylight. That was a nice tackle. Looked like Houston on the play. There was daylight. All right, they're in sync. <laughs> right there. I told you, it's right there. And another touchdown. This time it's Waddle on the reception. But it's the end of the third quarter. They're just going to go ahead and just boot it. 21 to 10. They take advantage of that turnover from Jackson. And this is just the Dolphins all day in that one. As now the momentum has completely swung in their favor. And you know that Jackson's gonna come out, be ready 
to make up for that that costly mistake at the end of that quarter there. That's crazy. <laughs> I, I was expecting them to ball out on here on the next down, but I was not expecting going into the fourth 21 to 10. And the only turnover on the day was the costly one. It was the most costly play in the game. Run it back and it was the right play. They, you know, they get past the 25 just a little bit there. Let's see what they're able to cook up. It's crunch time. They need number eight to come through, secure the ball and be electrifying. I'll tell you what, this has been quite the treat. I was going into this and I was trying to figure out what game do we want to sim? Which one is going to be like the game of the day here for the next down? And this, this is it. Nice to the outside. He broke away, just takes it out of bounds. That's how you build confidence right there. You just want to create the space. We know Jackson can run, but you don't, he doesn't want to have to do that. As we can see there, he, they forced the fumble earlier. Make clean routes, find the space so he can just release this ball. Nothing there and it's shot out of bounds. Third and five. So here we go. This Miami's offense is clicking. They're all over the place on defense to just keep this thing either short or out of control here. So he just had to toss it out of bounds. Drop back. Oh, he, no one's there. I don't understand what he was looking for on that play. Just nothing was there. They're going to have to actually, I mean, they're down by a lot. They're going to have to keep this. I mean, right now they have their offense on the field and they do. They leave them out there. They're going to have to try to figure this out. This is pretty much for the game here. Who's he tossing it to? Oh, what a catch. What a play there. Bateman out on the edge. I was so nervous for them on that play. I was like, I don't know where he's going with this because his tosses have not been there, but I mean, he broke the play. Uh, I mean, if he just brings that and stride a little bit more, he probably takes that to the house. What a play. It was fourth down. That was the biggest play of the game for them. And now they're in enemy territory. Looking like they can strike while the iron's hot. The drop back. He's gonna keep it. They call a flag. That might be a that might be a face mask. Yeah, you can see it the way he came down. I mean, it's a dirty play, but I respect it because I mean he's picking up at least 15 on that play. But I mean, it's all the same. <laughs> You don't know what kind of damage that can be done. So you're like, hey, I'll just go ahead and, and and take the penalty. I'll cut the yardage off. We don't know. Maybe he gets in the open field. He breaks an ankle and then suddenly we're looking at, you know, a, a 21 and 17 type of situation. So drops back. Fly, finds him on the cross and he reaches over. Do you see that effort? Kind of a dangerous play, but you can see the passion in Bateman there to keep these chains moving. He does just that. Jackson Poise was just content to let it play out, let a man break away, and was rewarded. Here we are at the 15 on the right hash. Got him in a little crossing pattern there. And he fights for it. Red zone plays. Now they're in first and goal territory. They've been here before. Kind of a questionable toss play that they did before. Hopefully they just kind of simplify this one. And just drive it in. It's not a done deal. 
Here they are at the one. Dolphins looking at a little gas. He gets into the backfield. It doesn't matter. They just keep this one simple. Davis right up the middle. It might have been Davis who got that before. The size looks correct. I think I said like Drake had before. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below, but this would be touching. Look at this fight. Just dragging him along. And boys, we got a ball game. <laughs> 21 to 16. Oh, and they're going to keep it. They're going for the two point conversion. They want to make this a three point game. Jackson keeps it. He's sitting right there. Oh, he was not comfortable in letting that go. That did not go in their favor. Now, it, it looked like he had his man just sitting there, but he didn't find him early enough, so he just kept it. So that play goes in favor of the Dolphins because now we have the game 21 to 16. A little odd number that we have there, but this is still a game. They're going to have to come down, unfortunately, for the Ravens and, and get another touchdown. And Miami's in position to just drive this home. They can keep it. They can try to eat away some clock. This is all on the Ravens to create pressure. So expect them to come out and actually really for the first time this game make Tua uncomfortable. touchback and here they are with their sixth drive 18 of 23 three tds and 191 yards he's looking like a different player you love to see it here we are with a big fourth down thank you for joining me again this is agent r on the next down bringing you the sims for this 2022 season. And I hope you've been enjoying it so far. Wow, what a nice tackle. He chose violence this morning on that one. All right, second and four. I expected them to come out and just, you know, run it a little more, but hey, they wanna move these chains. They know what's working. They're the ones in the lead here. The handoff flag on the play it looked like it happened at the point of contact yeah they're gonna move the chains on that one unfortunately queen makes the mental error there giving them the first and ten and this is what happens sometimes you know you're in the heat of the moment desperation starts kicking in you make these little mistakes but these little mistakes cost some big yards and so they're gonna have to take a moment here and dial it in so they can try to get this ball back for the ravens offense the handoff followed his man another flag on the play and another face mask yeah he's not liking that call it looked like it was clean but Now, there's a lot of been a lot of back and forth and, and aggression on these plays, so these refs are gonna call it tight. So it's up to them to make the adjustments to keep the refs out of the game. Uh, but here we are; they're just freely moving these chains. Oh, he just runs him over for the first down. But you see how that just that changes the entire feel for the game. Now they, they can't be as aggressive. They switched it up. They got a little too aggressive. Now they're having to get back and look at that. And then he's just running up. He puts his arm down. And now they're in they're in the red zone. Just like that. 
It's just gotten away from the Ravens' D. Well, they're just outside of the red zone. Excuse me. Here they are at the 21. Hands it off in, and they are right there. Now, what are they calling this time? Okay, so they're calling blocking it back on the offense. They'll take that. They give them a first and 20, push it back a little bit. They really need this. I mean, otherwise they score again, then it's an eight-point game. If they can just keep in the field goal, then they'll have to come down and drive and then get a two-point conversion and try it again. So that was a big play. Oh, ooh. could have caught him off sides on that one. Takes the handoff. Oh, man, did you see that block? Wow, he <laughs> cleaned him out. <laughs> Sheesh, man, I feel like he's on a trampoline. They just missed that. That looked like it was gonna be a first down. Could have been a touchdown play. He's gonna fake the handoff again. He's covered. He's going to wisely throw it out of bounds. It's a third and 20, so this is starting to just slip back a little bit. The Ravens uh, are on the coverage there. He was like he wanted to hit that flat route that was uh, forming, but you know, he, he was over him all day on that one. He, he probably would have broke on it, so he kept it. They're just going to hit him right there and just... All right. That's what, if you're a Ravens fan, that's what you wanted to see. So, the penalty on the illegal block of the back uh, ended up being just the nail in the coffin for this drive for Miami. And so, they're going to look to go for what, like a 40 yarder here? And the kick is away. And it's good. So,. Here it is, crunch time. <laughs> they, the Ravens managed to hold on. They get the ball back after a lot of mistakes on that drive. They can hold them to a field goal. So 24 to 16, 26 before the two minute warning. They have to, they have to drive down the field. They have to get the touchdown and they have to get a two point conversion. So the drama is here. It is real. It's time now on the next down. And his kick is away. He boots it and he will take a knee. And that's how you want to get this started. Number eight coming back on the field, looking to be the hero of this game. Andrews, where are you going? <laughs> you stay on the field. There are a lot of weapons to choose from. So pick your choice here. I know the defense is going to be dialing it in to try to get more pressure on Jackson. They've been successful. They've gotten a turnover out of them. Let's see if they can make it happen again and hold on and steal this here in Baltimore. Uh, the tackle looked a little awkward, but he was able to bring him down nonetheless. Wallace on the reception, Baker with the tackle. Here we go, just six before the warning. And I feel like that was a mental error. I think they definitely could have got another play out. So the sense of urgency was not there. And here around the 30, he's got him up the side, drops the pass. Uh, I would have just from this vantage point, I would have liked to have seen him hit that route going up the sideline instead. Oh, he just 
Oh! He tried to rifle that one in, and yeah, the crowd is letting them know they did not like that decision right there. That was a little too close for comfort, so here it is, another fourth and five. He drops back. He lets it fly, and that's that's it. It's a turnover on downs. Miami cutting off every lane. I mean, he just overshoots this one. That there's honestly there's nothing there on that one. And Tua looking to be the hero of this game. 204 yards with three touchdowns on the day. And he's taking a shot. So this isn't just him trying to manage the game. They did not add all of the weapons and, and coordinate this offense for the season for him to just manage the game. Uh, they're taking advantage of what they're given. And I mean, again, he's looking like a different player. They drop him. We're going to go ahead and call that timeout. But I mean, it's just, it's looking out of reach on this one. Miami just finding ways to keep the chains moving throughout the game. And when they were in the red zone, they made sure to just capitalize on every opportunity. All right, in motion. The handoff. Cut back in a little bit there, knocked down. Trying to get Baltimore to burn these timeouts here. And they do just that. So that should have been the last one. And if they can manage to get a first down, then this game is definitely over. Hands it off again. Oh, he missed him in the backfield. And that will do it. That was a big move. Avoids the contact in the backfield and is able to then fight for a little more. You can see how he was just holding that ball and wrapping it up to make sure when he was contacted that he wouldn't fumble. And then he just went ahead and took the spill. And now they can just let this clock run down. Looking like they're in victory formation. And they'll take the knee. Just need one more there. But look, here we go on the next down. I promised a good game. And once again, we're able to deliver for you. We'll have to see if we can go three for three on these simulations on the day. And this will do it here. And the final knee with an impressive showing. Miami coming up here in Baltimore and stealing the show. So I want to thank once again the mod community that we are using here, Be Fit, Sabo. Uh, here we are doing the lighting here ourselves uh, for the color uh, coordination here. I want to thank you for joining us on the next down an electrifying game, Miami 24, Baltimore 16. We had some nice plays here on offense on both sides of the ball. Uh, it ended up being the fumble that really turned this thing around in, in the third quarter and gave the Dolphins that, that momentum shift they needed to close this one out, really. And we're going to take a look at these highlights before we go here. I hope that you have a great weekend here on Sunday for the NFL. Root hard. Go hard for your team, fantasy, peoples. I hope that you get all the points that you need. Uh, keep it classy. <laughs> And until next time, here on the next down, this has been Agent R. Prove your meta.